So here we see some other methods like tissue culture is an advanced technique by which we can generate a complete plant by collecting a few cells. In the previous case I, we discussed in vegetative propagation by cutting a part of the plant you can generate a new plant, you can grow it into a new plant. Part means bigger in sense, naked, you can see with your eye. Say for example rose plant stem you have cut, the stem is seen to your eyes. That is big enough. But few number of cells which are invisible, you have taken a very small tissue. Plants have the capability of producing a new plant even from small tissue. But the small tissue that is collected, you cannot keep it in the soil. It will decompose. It cannot grow into a new plant. Then what do we do this tissue? We can keep the tissue in a test tube. This tissue is kept in a test tube in the nutrient medium. Nutrient medium. And moreover, it is sterilized. That means made free from bacteria. Otherwise, fungus will get bacteria will destroy the tissue. The tissue is sterilized, treated for not affecting with any bacteria or fungus. And the tissue is kept in a medium, nutrient medium, which will provide the nutrients. And the total thing is kept in hygienic conditions, non-infectious conditions. Then the tissue will grow into a new plant. Once this is grown into a plantlet, the plant can be potted. It can be kept in a pot. So, tissue culture is the latest advanced technique in which you can grow number of plants at a time. Thousand plants you want. Yes, you collect some tissue. Tissue means it's a group of cells. Thousands of cells will be there in very small tissue. So, thousand plants you can go uh, grow at a time. But the thing is you need a laboratory. You need equipment. You need technicians. Then it is possible to grow thousand plants of same kind in less time by using the tissue culture technique. And we find some of the plants or some of the organisms are produced by spores. You call it as spore formation, sporulation. Best example we see is that fungus and uh, under this fungus we see the molds, bread mold. When some food is made wet, damp and kept in humid conditions, you see some hair like structures are grown. This is nothing but the mold, bread mold. If you observe the hair like structure, it will have a long stalk like body and top head. The head contains small dot like structures called as spores. These spores are just like seeds of a plant. If the spores are transferred by air or any other means to some other food material or some other place where the nutrients available, these spores will germinate. This kind of reproduction is called as spore formation or sporulation example mucor kind of fungus in which we observe. Even in some plants we observe the spores in ferns. If you see the leaf of a fern on the underside of the leaf you see some kind of spores and these plants they reproduce by spores they do not produce any flowers and seeds they have only spores. What is that example? Ferns. So we have seen various methods of reproduction in which there is no fusion of male and female gamete. All the methods so far we discussed are asexual methods. That means there is no fusion of male gamete, female gamete. A single organism is capable of producing young ones. These are all the examples. We have seen animals, we have seen plants, unicellular, multicellular. So there are so many modes of reproduction in sexual method. Next, we are going to discuss about a sexual method of reproduction. We have seen a sexual method of reproduction. Now we are going to discuss about sexual mode of reproduction. Sexual mode. Male gamete, female gamete fuses together to form a zygote which develops into an young one. This is a more advanced one where the DNA recombination takes place. And the young ones that come, they have very high possibilities of variations. And the process of evolution is possible mainly because of this sexual reproduction. Let us see how the sexual re reproduction takes place in plants and animals. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.